Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create whiteboard style instructional videos right inside of Wakelet.com. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm signed into my Wakelet account and I can do this in an existing collection or I can create a new collection to put my instructional videos in. Let's go ahead and create a new collection for those of you who have not seen how to create a collection in Wakelet before. So let's add our cover image here and I can upload an image or I can choose from a library. Maybe I want a picture of a chalkboard. So we'll use, let's say, you know, I don't know this one here or you know, this one. So we'll add that image in there we can make it a half size we can make it full size we can even hide it all together to half size okay. call it short instructional videos by mr burn and our description is like it says on the title okay so next we're going to actually add in our video we're going to make our video in this next part here. All right, so now let's go in and hit this plus symbol, and we're going to use Flipgrid's integration into Wakelet to create our video. So let's hit that video button. Now you do have to have a Flipgrid account. Let's go ahead and use the effects option here. We'll choose board, and I'm gonna use a whiteboard. You can see here, I can split the screen if I want. I can even take myself completely out of it. But let's split the screen. And now we'll make sure we have our drawing tool turned on. And now let's hit the record button. All right, class, today's lesson is about adding by two. So let's go ahead and we're going to now do two plus two equals four and two plus four equals six. Now, when I'm happy with that, I'll pause it, hit the next button. All right, class, today's lesson is about adding by two. I'm gonna hit the next button again. And one more time, and now it's uploading my video and it's going to add it directly into this collection. And so it's filling in right there. Now, my collection is private, and I want my students to be able to see it. So let's take a look at how we can change the settings from private to unlisted. Or I can even make it public. Now, these settings are a lot like YouTube settings in that unlisted Anyone who has a link can watch it, but it won't pop up in a search result. Public, anyone can see it, and it might pop up in a search result as well. Let's make that one unlisted and hit done. Now, if I want to share it, I have all these ways I can share it. I can put it directly into Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams. You can see I can send it in Remind, even Facebook it. I've got a QR code. I've got all kinds of options. I can even embed the entire collection into another website if I want to. I can also invite other people to collaborate and make their own videos to include in this collection, which could be great if I'm working on a teaching team and I want to have a couple of my co-teachers make instructional videos and have them be a part of the same collection as well. Now you can always go back in and edit a collection and you can add more videos in or delete your videos that you no longer want students to see. So that's how you can create short instructional whiteboard style videos directly in Wakelet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.